Intelligence raid a Chickasha company. Chopper 4 was busy because it was over the scene at Boardwine Development this morning. Armed agents searching that property. News Force Caitlin Ogle is there with the update. Well, after investigating all day for hours, state and federal agents finally leaving the property. However, the only new information we're learning are from these court documents filed by Brandon Boardwine's attorney. McIntyre Law Chopper 4 showing us agents with the DEQ and EPA investigating Brandon Boardwine's Chickasha office, later leaving with this huge excavator. News 4 told to call the EPA as we've received some tip that there might be some activity happening at Brandon Boardwine's office, but no answer twice. In August, the DEQ says this Chickasha manufacturing warehouse owned by Boardwine went up in flames, fueled by illegally stored hand sanitizer. The fire burned itself out over days. There has been an impact for sure to the environment. We have no indication that someone intentionally set the fire. Documents show Boardwine told agents the product was, quote, originally from China and Mexico and cannot be shipped back, and that they had, quote, a contract to store and recycle the hand sanitizer shipped in from California and Texas. The DEQ hitting Boardwine with a $6 million fine, saying he didn't have the permit to store the hand sanitizer, which is considered hazardous because it catches fire so easily. Then in October, another Boardwine location storing hand sanitizer goes up in flames. According to new documents filed Monday, Boardwine's attorney argues Boardwine followed the rules, then pointing to EPA guidance that, quote, hand sanitizer that is not a solid waste because it is destined for legitimate recycling may be stored as a commercial chemical product without needing a storage permit. In a statement, the DEQ says that, quote, DEQ believes the exceptions outlined in the EPA guidance are not applicable to Mr. Boardwine's activities. In Chickasha, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Caitlin, thank you. Just as we have numerous times in the past, we reach out to Boardwine's attorney, but did not hear back.